Mario. Oh, Mr. Orange. Yeah. <laughs> Here, How you are you? you. Oh. Oh, you have a you have a big shawl in your house. Wow, Alan, how many people? How many people? How many people do you get? You, you don't have the sound. You are muted, that's why I can't hear you. You are muted, so I cannot hear you. Okay, now, now it's off mute. Now it should hear me. Yeah. How yeah, many okay. people do you get? I don't know. I don't know. We have Min Khamar every night, about 20 people. And tonight, it'll probably be about 30 people, 30, so I don't know. Do they call know. you? Do they call you Rabbi again now? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, why not? No, why? I don't want, I don't want anything. Uh, Oh, they want to give a nice place, a warm place to dive in. That's what it is. Yeah. We used we used to dive it out in the patio, but it's cold. So the yeah. last few, the last few months we have it indoors here, so they're making it comfortable for them. You give so it to also? No, in Shabbos I don't have it. Yeah, with Shabbos we have it. Like last week and the week before we had it 
they had it for my, my kid. My kids made a, a, a birthday party for me on Shabbos. And so, oh, uh, happy birthday. Happy oh, birthday. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How I old quite, are you now? Um, how old do you think I am? 75. 85. Really? Yeah. Wow. Can I know her? Can I know her? Yeah. Yeah. You don't look uh, like 85. Uh, thanks. I was born in th oh, man. Oh, oh man, I was born in 38 before the war. I was I'm a, a pre-war baby, you know. Yeah. I remember I remember in Seattle during the during the war, I was a little kid, and they used to have in Seattle was a for Boeing Field, so they would send up dirigibles. They used to uh like big balloons, they would uh, uh Fit up to the ground so they would, in case the planes came in from the Japanese planes would come in, they would hit the balloons, you know, the permanent balloons, and they wouldn't get into the field. But uh, I remember they used to have air raids, sirens, they would go off at the middle of the night, we'd have to shut the lights off. And Friday yeah. night, I remember Friday night, um, we, we had black shades where we pulled out because, uh, you know, during the war, the, the, yeah. the, you couldn't have any lights on. So, we had, you know, we used to have air raid sirens all the time going off. I remember as little kids, we used to hide under the beds. Alan, what yeah. kind of news? What kind of news did you get from the war? I mean, I was a little kid, so I, I just used to hear, you know, little things. I didn't get much. I mean, you know, my my parents didn't talk to us about it. My brother and I, and then my younger brother, and uh, but uh, we would just, you know, here we 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 knew we heard when uh, the, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And I remember when, when uh, President Roosevelt died, that's why I remember that from the house. I, I was, was born that day. You were born that day? Yeah. 44? 45. 45, yeah, oh wow. A April 11. Well, so your birthday's coming up too. So you'll be, you'll be what, 77? 78. 78, oh boy, yeah. 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 So, but but you, how do you remember when? Well, you don't remember when uh, Rizzo was born, but uh, you know, yeah, that's it. I I, I no, try no, to recall. Was, did you hear anything about the concentration camps and those things? No, no, I didn't. I didn't hear. My father never discussed it with us. I didn't hear about it. all. All I knew was that the rab, <clears throat> the rabbi from Seattle, at the time, his name was Rabbi Wogelanter. He left. He left the community and he went to Europe to try to to help people, but we didn't you know the, the refugees. But but we didn't know anything about the. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe my father knew. Maybe about the concentration camps. It's mm. hard to believe. It's hard to believe it in today's day. You know, today's age that we they didn't know anything. But the truth is, there was no communication and the papers. You know, were were all anti-Semitic. So they didn't yeah. really, they didn't want to put it, you know, today everything is uh, is publicized, <coughs> but they, you know, to them, the papers there were all, all um, anti-Semitic. I yeah. remember I had, a, I had a bad teacher in public, I went to public school because there was no day school in my time. It didn't happen till afterwards, but uh, she was real anti-Semitic to me. She knew we were Jewish and she was real anti-Semitic and, you know, I, I grew up in a, you know, uh, not knowing much about it, but in the the retrospect, there were, they were, they were teachers who were, who were really hated, didn't like Jews. And, but yeah, uh, yeah that's what, that was growing up in Seattle. But well, changed later. It was a good, became a good town. Now it goes back, to, reverts back to, uh, no, not a good town anymore. All liberal, all left wing, all left wing. Yeah. So all, all the Californians moved up to Seattle. So what can you do? That's life. I'm much, not, not much better here, believe me. Ain't much better no. here. So. Where the hell is Ernie? You know, we have, I'm going to the McGill at 6.30. Sure, I know. I, I don't know. It's a really short block, but still, when we say 5 o'clock. Okay. Five it's half a blood, really. Let me ask uh, him. Okay. Let me, okay. Let me let me call him. Okay. Okay. Let me discuss this here.
Hello. 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 Ernie, it's Mario. I just wanted to check with you and see if we if we are going to have the draft now. The answering machine. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I I said yesterday no. We yeah, are for a little half a blood. Why? Why do it now? Well, we so I guess so. We won't fall far behind. It's not. It's it's a. It's actually it's about yeah. Let's see. What's the blood? It's about a yeah. Yeah, half a yeah. It's a half a blood. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we do it, we do it, because tomorrow we're not, tomorrow is, what is he, tomorrow yes. night, is that oh, what it is? Oh, he's tonight? calling me. Okay. Yes, Ernie. Yeah, I'm coming on, I just forgot, I, you know, when I make these changes, I, I myself can't remember. I'm, co I'm coming right now. Okay. Okay, okay good that you call him. <laughs> I was forgetting. Yeah, forgetting, yeah. Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. That's what he told me. He forgot. Yeah. Yeah, like the guy came into this country and they, they ask him, what's his name? You know, the refugee he says, eh, Ferguson. So they named him Ferguson. Oh. Yeah, heard that one? Sean Fer Ferguson. Sean Ferguson. Sean, Sean Ferguson. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Ferguson. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Sí, porque tengo que empieza el, el share ahora. Oh, okay. okay. You know, I I have an a very good friend in England. Yeah. His name is Miller. Miller, okay. Uh, yeah, but when his, not his father, his grandfather immigrated from Russia to, to England, they also had, what's your name? And he, he gave his name, which was something Oski, you know? Yeah. And the guy said, what's your profession? He said, Rina Miller, so your name uh, is Miller. <laughs> yeah, Mich Miller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Hi, Ernie. I'm base 42. Forty two okay. B. Yeah. Mishnah. Nazar Shaya Shoysa Yain Kawayon. A Nazar that was drinking wine a whole day. And a Khaivalachas. You're only Khaiv once at a market. But Amrullah al Tishta al Tishta, but they warned him each time in a separate warning. Then you'd be required multiple malkas. He was shaving his hair the whole day and it, with no warning in between. Same thing with the haircut. Time at Tamil Mason Kolayom and Achaibalacha. You only have one. Amrlo, alti tummy, alti tummy, but with tummy chayva kolaka fea. Itma, Amrav Amravuna. Mikra mole di birakosu, lo yutama. The Torah says, I'll call nefesh mace lo yutama. And Yeshuaimer lo yavo, I'll call, then it says, Apostle, I'll call nefesh mace lo yavo. Lazira la tumo. That you you're warned lazira la bia. You cannot go into a room that has a corpse. And you you be be high for different for touching a maze, for going into oil of tumo betumalo. But if you were matame and with the same type of tumo and you repeated it, you'd only be high one. But Rav Yosef or Malouim. Not so. I'm not going to feel the tumor of the tumor. That multiple tumors, you'd be high of two. And what's the proof? I'm not going to nozer shay on the base of Kvaros. Nozer that's in a cemetery. Voshitilo meso. Umesachir. 
and they gave him his relative and another another mace. Chai. Am I? I'm a Why should he Ernie, chai? Ernie. Yes. I understand all this, but why the three different cases? They're all the same. You know, once one set of lashes, two or more, more each one a set of lashes. It's very hard to understand why they don't say for this, this, and this. It's one set of. Well, the Gemara will ask your question later on. Okay. The Gemara will say why we need all three. Okay. So the question here is you're standing in a cemetery. We already told me. And if they hand you another tumor, why I'm a time of a kayak. So why would you, why should you be chayiv another time? Ela lav shmai amar avun afilu tumah v'tumas. Ravuna held that you'd be chayiv for multiple tumas. So you mean you could mark carbonus? Is that what it is? Mark 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 lashes. Okay. 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 On ravuna afilu eisli abay coin shaylo meisli. Coin was carrying a mace on his shoulders. Boishitulo mace, and they gave him another mace to touch. Mace Achim. The Nagabo Yachol Yechayev. I would think he'd be chayev multiple times. Talmud Lomar Velo Yechalav. The Mishen Machulo. Somebody who has not been mitame yet. Yatzes Eshu Machulo Voime. But if somebody's already tame, you don't get another one. Kashan Ravuna. Armer Lev Tikshul Chomas Nisan. You could also ask him a kasha from our mission. This not high mitami lemesim kolo yomena chayv alachas, which is also against Ravuna. If they told him amru lo alti tami alti tami, if they gave him a warning each time chayv al kolachas beachas. Now, even with multiple warnings, why should he be chayv more? Why am I how come a tayv kayin? He's already tami. El kasha dodi. So the mission and the Brises seem to be opposed to each other. Loi kasha. Kan v'chiburi. So when you're touching a mace and you touch another mace, so you're not chayv on another tumah. But if you sequentially touch a mace and then you let go of it, then you touch another one with a different warning, that's shalom v'chiburin. And then you'll be chayav for each negiyah. The tuma b'chiburin do araisa. The fact that you remain tummy when you're in contact with a mace is mid araisa. Because, but is that so? Amr of Yisak by Yosef by Amr of Yanai. La amr tuma b'chiburin al the tuma v'kotchim. This concept that if you're in contact with tuma is relevant to the din of tuma and kotchim. But Lenya Nazir, that you should have another tumma, no, or Oisa Pesach to make to prevent you from offering a korban Pesach, lo, the Amr Daraisa. But if this din is Daraisa, Maishna Khan, so Maishna, why should it be different? So Khan Bechibur Adam Ba'adam. If a person is in contact with another Tomedika person, one person is in contact with a mace. Then he, then he touches another human being. The second person only tummy mid rabbanon. Kan bechiburadim b'meis. If a person is touching a mace itself, so it's as if he's con connected to the tumma. So the second person touches him, will have tumma deraisa. But tumma the tumma, but you have sequential touching. Lo, you don't be chayv one. Because he's already state state of tumul, so tumul be a nami. So if you are tummy and you walk into let's say a house with tumas oil, so why don't we say the same thing? I'm a tummy v'koy. He's already tummy. On Rav Yechnon, there's two kinds of walking into a house. Kan bias. So if a, a person who's Torah walks into a bias that's a mace. He gets malchus for bia, and if he, and and if and if a mace touched him directly, but kan So if he's touching a mace, while he's touching a mace, he walks. Oh hell, there's no hell, yeah. 
he's, he's not going to be high in, on the D as well because it's Mitami. By the way, Rav Goren had a special heter based on this Gemara to allow Kohanim to go to medical school. He wrote about it that you would, a halal cherev, if a mace is killed with a sword, so that metal has the same status of tum as the mace itself. Rav Gord had a concept that if a Kohen was wearing one of these metal things that had become tome, so you could not add tuma to him. Mm. I'm, not sure, I'm not sure exactly how he would, he's not allowed to become tome in the first place. But if you could get the thing on him, and he's a constant state of tumma, you can't add tumma by, by, now not a, a lot of Poskim didn't agree with him. I remember, so now, what, what, what about now the coin in the, in the base of Kavoros that we, we, we learned before that he's got to get out of because the longer he's in, the more, the, the more, he, the more he's is, uh, over uh, because he's, if, if he has a direct route and he takes a roundabout way, he's more for being, being Correct. the Tame. Correct. So 